Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. <clears throat> Just got back. Um, and I had a bunch of packages here. <laughs> um, but I'm going to pick a lock because I'm going to try. What do I want? I'm going to do a fast Charlie because I need to get these picked. Oh, that's a heavy one. Uh, well, it's a padlock. Okay, it's. Uh, this is his number five. It's called It's Alive. Used to be a familiar five, but really very cool. And even sent a plug follower with it. Very cool, Charlie. Just a four pin that can be gutted. Okay. All right, if I get a pick fast enough, I'll gut it, guys. Uh, let's see if it even works. If it's a, a hard pick, yeah, it works perfectly. Nice. Uh, if it's a hard pick, I want to get this package open here. Put in the vice. It was almost... Uh, 50,000 should get in there, yeah, uh, but I'm gonna have to use the long end because these Allen bolts are sticking out over here. Okay, hopefully you're squared up there, guys. It's going with my medium hook. Um, anyway, I want to get this package opening. I, it's just a few little things. I couldn't figure out who it was from, <laughs> and then I finally figured it out, but it, it's a really cool little thing that one of the fellow picker sent me and I just want to show how awesome this community is okay the core is really really loose in here holy cow I don't know if you can see that I'll show you this guys look look how far that core moves up and down in there wow I believe I'm picking warding back there guys <laughs> I don't feel like any of the pins are moving I mean it worked the key worked it Okay, that was definitely an overset. Okay, let's let it back out. Turn. Wow, I, I could just bump, turn the tensioner out of it. It's so floppy inside there. Hmm. It's a weird little lock. Okay, let's put a little more tension on this because it seems to want a little heavier tension. Okay, two, I only feel three pins in here, guys. Oh, there, I went into a little bit of a false set there. I think that that was on one, I'm pretty sure it was number one pin. Okay, see, and I can't tell if that's counter or if it's just a core flopping around in there. Yeah, they definitely overset that number one pin. Okay, now I went to a deep false set. Okay, I lost a little bit on that pin. Oh man, I overset that. The number two oversets really, really, really easy. Wow. One and two overset. Very, very, very easy. Yeah, see, I only feel three pins, guys, and then it feels like warding in the back. Oh, that pin has just got a really, really, really strong spring under it. Okay. Okay, we're open there, guys. As you can see, it's open. But wow, look at how floppy that core is. Holy cow. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me get it closer here. But look at how far that core moves inside that lock. How far are we into this? Ah, four minutes. I'll try and get it gutted real fast, show the pins, and then get this video done for the package opening. Um, I gotta get these done in under 15 minutes. My YouTube's all screwed up again, guys. What's happening now is the uh, it has showed me that you put up a video, a notification that you put up a video, but when I hit my activity thing, it like the video disappears. So I gotta go find it in uh, the normal. These are probably metric Allen bolts too, right? Why wouldn't they be? Uh, no, nine sixty four. Um. Anyway, then I got to go find it on, like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like the homepage, you know? But these are just some tiny, tiny, tiny little Allen bolts here. Let's get all this out of the way.
That's Charlie. That's a pretty good idea. He did that plate on the bottom of this. He, he ground the bottom of the lock and then just made a plate for it. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can just spin it around and get that core out of there. Yeah, I think I can. Come on out, buddy. <laughs> yeah, see what he's done? He's ground the whole bottom of the lock and then stuck the core in there. I can't get the core out for some reason. Okay. Yeah, just a little four-pin master core. Okay, let me get this follower off of here, guys. We'll use the one he says to use. <laughs> I believe it's just a crimped core. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I better stick a shim in here, just in case. This gunning's going to take too long, and I'm not going to be able to open this package. Yeah, the shim doesn't want to go. There it goes because of that crimped core doesn't want to go in there. Now here goes nothing, guys. Yep, I dropped the first pin, I think. No, I got it, went through, beautiful, very nice. Whoa, I almost dropped all the pins out of that core. Okay. All right, uh, let me get this out of the way. How come I didn't pull my pinning board up first? That was pretty dumb of me. But anyway, let's see, here's one, one's a standard, two is a spool, and these pins are hard to work on in these little tiny locks, guys, because they're so small, the pins, and there was four pins in there, and he's got threading and two, three, and counter milling in four, wow. That's a lot of work for a little master lock, my friend. Wow, how did you get that little spool? I can't wait to show you these guys. Okay, this is going to be the front. Okay, he's got a mark on it, so I know which way it goes. My tweezers. And I'll bring us down to the pinning board real quick after this, guys. i got to watch when I put that back together because that follower, that's why I almost got stuck there. Man, that's a strong spring. He was in just like that. He's a repurposed key pin. I doubt he's got much variance in the springs in this. The number one spring doesn't want to come out. I'm not going to fight it if it doesn't come. This is so hard to hold. <laughs> I see the way it wants to come out of there. But this follower is going to fall right out the back of this thing. All right, I'm going to pop it. I see how it's in there. Okay. I see how they were both in there. Okay, this was in four this way. Uh, all the springs kind of look the same to me, but we'll see. Let me see if I can get a couple of them out of there. Yep, there's one. That's chamber one. Chamber two. Yeah, I hope I'm not going in and out of frame here, guys. I haven't picked at this table in a while. That was four. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he's got some different springs, too. They're cut differently, I think. Ah, okay, and in the core, nothing's done in the Bible. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, here's the key. All right, I'm going to bring this down to the pinning board real fast, show you this. I'm going to put this back up and get this package open. I'm done. We're at nine minutes, guys, so I only got six left. Six left. Okay, number one, we had the standard. Just really nice serrated up above them. little copper spring. This spool in number two, I'm sorry, I'm not even in frame. There's a spool in number two. With this really, really nice serrated spool up above him. And then uh, copper spring. And then this serrated with a reduced diameter top. With this spool up above it. Copper spring. And then this really tiny spool here with another spool up above him. But another little copper spring. Very nice job, Fast Charlie. Okay, I don't want to get nobody camera drunk here. I think I'm going to set this back up here. Ah, okay. We're going to push this pinning board out of the way, guys, because i got to show you this awesome thing that he sent me in this package. Okay, we'll put that back together in a little bit. So, this one's from Foxy, guys, and I've already cut it, but I haven't been in it because I'm pretty sure what it is inside of here. <laughs> All right, I see a little note here. I'll pull that off to the side. Oh, I got candy, too. 
<laughs> I like gummy bears. Horrible gummy bears. Okay, nothing else in that one. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just read this note real fast off to the side. Please give me no feedback. Okay, so I'm going to show you what they are. I don't need to read the letter. It, it's just some instructions. It's got them in this really cool... I believe that's a chocolate box. Uh, but he made... I'm sure everybody has seen it on his video. He made a little lighted plug follower, guys. And I have been thinking about these things. I'm talking to other guys about how we could maybe get one made somewhere. And uh, when I seen that, I was just, I was in total awe. That is awesome, Foxy. So they have a little LED light in them. Oh, sorry. And when I seen it, I says, on his video, you see how that lights up, guys? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill this light real fast. And you stick that through. I wish I had an open core right now. I don't have one. Ah. Uh, nope, I don't. I thought I had a Bible in there. But you stick it through, and then you get the light at the other end so you could see it. Really, really cool. Nice job, Foxy. That is absolutely awesome. So when I commented back on it to him, I says, Foxy, I've been talking to guys about making these for the last 10 years, 15 years maybe. And he said he'd make me a couple, but he's not interested in selling them or making them, you know, in large scale or nothing. That is just awesome. That is so cool. He put a little LED back here. You know, let me shut that light back off to show that again. He put a little LED back here. Now he's got three stacked batteries here. He's got a little diode. That is just awesome. Man, I hope Sparrows picks this up because I would buy these in a minute, guys. When we're in them little dark hallways in those factory buildings and stuff, you can't see nothing down inside those Bibles. Foxy, thank you so much, my friend. Fast Charlie, that was a great little lock. Oh, I'm only at 13. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you to Foxy. That is just awesome. So cool. When I show this to one of the locksmiths, he's going to just crap his pants, guys. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. Very, very, very cool. Oh, I'm in awe. Foxy, thank you so much. Fast Charlie, thanks for making this lock. I'll get it sent out now. I'm going to have to put these in a different bag, Charlie. I'll maybe write a little note that you have on the front of here. But I have to put them in a different I can't send them out in this. It's, this is just too too big. I, I put one in Bobby Key's bag and it took the whole box up. So with that, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great night and good evening.